Hello, I'm going to do a unboxing of this Victron Energy BMV 712 battery monitor with temperature sensor. Just got it in January 14th in Morro Bay, California, where I've been prepping to install a Tesla module here under my desk. 24 volt Tesla lithium battery. This is under construction. I'm getting it ready, prepped for the install. And here's Professor Tippy, 15 years old. He had a good day walking on the beach here. And I'm going to explain the unboxing of this, not the install. I've never installed this product before. And I'm going to provide a link to it in the description and on my website, econito.org, where eventually I will also have a diagram of this install. So here's the box. For convenience, I emptied it to um, make this go a little quicker. I was really surprised by the data cable, how thick and long it is. I might try to shorten it or buy one that's a lot shorter and then offer this for resale on eBay or something or donate it to Goodwill. The manual is also ridiculous. They shouldn't have done this. This is an environmental disaster because of the weight this adds to the package for uh, fuel-powered vehicle transport. The first 36 pages are... 37 pages are for English. And that big thick section, that's all other foreign languages. So what they really should have done instead is offer a little thumb drive or and or a link to a PDF or something that you can download. Because the advantage of PDF, you'll be able to do keyword searches. <clears throat> So, this was a combined package that it also includes the temperature sensor. That's why the price is a little bit higher than if it were just standalone monitor. They did not have this inside the box. This was separate. So, here's what the temperature sensor looks like. Online, there are no close-up photos of a lot of this stuff. So that's what the value of this video is largely about, is you can see lots of close-ups that you cannot find anywhere online uh, to include the manufacturer's website. So we got those out of the way. Here are some fuses that I prefer not to use. I would actually rather have something like this where all my fuses are located in one spot with the LED warning and the type of plug-in you can plug in and out easy without dealing with Phillips screwdriver. <clears throat> so they included these. I took this apart. There's a really tiny fuse in there. I don't know how many amps it is. It looks like it's only maybe five amps. One has a pin at the end. The other has um, that kind of a terminal connector. Uh, four screws for this little plastic housing. This in particular is very difficult to get some really good close-ups online anywhere. Um, kind of testing the Samsung Galaxy focal automatic focus feature. And here's what it looks like on this side. So... Yep, that's all there is to it. I'm surprised there's no plastic thing to peel off here to keep from scratching it for idiots like me who drop it on the floor. And so this is not going to be able to just, you, you're not going to be able to easily use double-sided tape and just stick it on your wall, obviously. So this is designed to drill a, or cut a huge hole in your wall 
and then fasten it with four screws through. This looks like a two-piece plastic housing here that snaps apart. So you screw the screw into the inner plate. So you snap on the outer plate and then you won't be able to see the screws and it'll be a clean looking install. Mm, looks like only one part left. This is a heavy, I believe this is solid brass. The shunt. Says battery only. I assume they're talking about the big lugs on top, not that little Phillips screw. And here, load and charger. Five hundred amps capacity. Has some cooling fins. <clears throat> I guess those are cooling fins. Or maybe that's just multiple layers of shunts to measure different parameters. A uh, nice thick lock washer and yep, a little circuit board so it'll just mount on the wall with two screws, not here, but um, in my case down there by the underneath where the Tesla battery is going to go. I know it's pretty messy. I'm going to get that all cleaned up and do a separate video when I install the Tesla battery module in the box. And a quick install. You might want to freeze some of these frames if you see your particular install because it might not be online. I haven't checked. I assume it is not because I haven't really seen this many illustrations online regarding this. Oh yeah, there's how to install it in the wall. might be helpful to you um, before you order the product that way you can get ready for the install while it's being shipped and that's pretty much it for the um, unpackaging maybe I'll do another video of the actual install I know I'll do one when it's actually installed along with all the other components with the Tesla module of it reading that battery module Oh, Tippy, he's ready for his food. He's diabetic, 15 years old, and blind, but he's happy with proper care. We're in it together, boy. I'm too loyal to put him down like many people would have by now. So I keep on coddling him and keeping him happy. I'm kind of like a full-time nurse. Yeah, leave some comments or questions below, and we will see you in the next video. I've got to give him an insulin shot now. That's usually every evening around this time. I'm in Morrow Bay, California, about 6.35 to 7.35, sometimes nearly 9, within a two-hour margin, 12 hours apart, he gets his insulin shots. And... What else can we cover before I click done? Because I don't want to edit this video. This is just simply a kind of a dumb unpackaging video. Nothing too sophisticated to be editing. I also have this for the solar panel. Battery Protect just came in also. These come with a five-year warranty to some extent. I've, had, I've read um, some articles online where people said that that's not honored very well hope i don't have to find out but i got mica sheets for the tesla battery that are going to cover the front of it to protect in case of a fire because uh, you can see i'll be sitting right in front of this battery so i'm going to have a shield in front of it in case it uh, does catch on fire all right, you can click the link uh, to purchase it. It'll be in the description.